It was regarded as a great failing of the police. But an ex-police sergeant involved into the investigation into child exploitation in Rotherham has been cleared of failing to act on information to, uh, supplied to him. Now, this is the end of the line on the police conduct uh, investigations in the Rotherham case. 47 officers have been investigate, investigated. Eight were found to have a misconduct case to answer. Six, a gross misconduct case to answer. Five face sanctions, but the maximum penalty has been a final written warning. Let us talk to Danny Savage. You heard him in the news. He's outside the hearing. And Danny, I can think we could have a little bit more on the background to all of this. Yeah, I mean, Evan, most people will remember the awful um, exposure of the child sexual exploitation scandal in Rotherham. It came in the form of the Jay Report back in 2014, and that looked at abuse in the town between 1997 and 2013 and found that something like 1,400 children mainly vulnerable teenage girls, had been abused over those years in, in, in the most shocking way, effectively uh, underage girls uh, having sex with men in the town. And the authorities knew what was going on in at least some of those cases and, and accepted it almost as something that happened in the town. And it was a, a huge scandal that took place. And what's happened subsequently since then is that South Yorkshire Police has taken a long look at its attitudes during that time and how their officers behaved and this was in the form of operation linden uh, which con effectively concluded today with a final hearing and it, 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 as you mentioned in the introduction uh, it investigated some like 265 separate allegations covering the period from 1997 to 2013 there were 51 complainants 44 of whom were survivors of, of abuse uh, and the police said they were grateful to those complainants and survivors for coming forward but it's those complainants and survivors that feel as though coming forward has achieved very little. Now of those investigations into uh, gross misconduct and misconduct which took place the worst sanction that was or the heaviest sanction that was given to officers were internal sanctions within South Yorkshire Police and today we had that final uh, conclusion of an investigation into a man called Detective Sergeant David Walker he led the South Yorkshire Police team tasked with investigating organised abuse in Rotherham between 2009 and 2012 and the panel which investigated him today said that he had acted appropriately with any information passed on to him and he had been a hard-working, diligent and professional uh, uh, officer at the time. So it's the victims that are left feeling that they've come forward to offer information, but they feel as though that no police officer has been held to account in any serious way, Evan. Yeah, well, talk us through um, the overall findings here, Danny, because, uh, you, you know, people will be surprised that at the end of this, after all of this, we are now where we are, relatively uh, relatively. I suppose what would be regarded as light sanctions in a very small number of cases for major police failing. Yeah, I mean, the, the police say their understanding of this type of offending has evolved significantly in recent years and, and that they must acknowledge the efforts made to improve the way these cases are dealt with. However, they say there is still work to do and they've issued these recommendations to South Yorkshire Police and national policing bodies and others so that the bravery of those who come forward and supported the investigations can result in lasting change and that mistakes of the past are not repeated. Now, we will get a proper formal summary and conclusions and thoughts about Operation Linden, which has concluded today in the coming weeks. So today's uh, sort of, uh, we're doing this today because that final hearing took place, but there's a final report to come out about this. But it's interesting that, you know, that, that, that it really does focus on the, on, on the victims and those comments. And when we were talking to one lady today, her name is Jane Senior. She's a former youth worker in Rotherham. She helped expose the scandal in the town uh, and testified to some of these investigations into the police officers that we've had over the last few years as part of Operation Linda. We've talked to her today and she gave us her thoughts about you know, what she felt now that this has come to an end. You know, one minute you feel exonerated because of one report and then next thing you feel that here we go again, I'm trying to fight to say, you know, that we were telling truth, you know, that this, this was real, you know, this has been part of my life for so many years. Can you imagine how these victims and survivors feel? This happened to them. 
they live with this trauma. Today, they still have to live and deal with what happened to them as children. Well, Jane Senior there speaking uh, for the victims there. Danny, thank you for that. Danny Savage uh, there at the hearing. We can talk to David Greenwood, head of the Child Abuse Department at Swittle Ski Solicitors, which represents more than 80 survivors of abuse in Rotherham. And David, what's your reaction to this latest uh, acquittal, so to speak? Well, as you can imagine, um, in the aftermath of the J report, a lot of the ladies that I represent were reluctant to come forward to complain about the police and to to really enter into the process of making police complaints. They didn't have much faith in the police at that time. And it took us quite a lot of effort to persuade them that the IOPC had set up this big investigation, Operation Linden, and that you know, they are going to do a, a decent job of it. Uh, and we would get some accountability at the end of the process. It turns out that uh, for a number of reasons, there has been no accountability. Um, of officers who failed spectacularly to to process even the the most basic crimes. So um, yeah, I'm extremely disappointed. Extremely disappointed on behalf of not only the team that I work with, but for all the the women who have really put themselves out and put them through themselves through hours of interviews explaining what the police did or didn't do during the course of their exploitation. Is the problem here that when you you have a collective failure, when you get panels looking at individuals, it's very hard to pin pin the entire thing on an individual. That it it, it feels like it was a collective failure, which is why what will end up coming out of this is a a whole set of recommendations about culture changes. It, it, it seems. Well, I don't think so. I mean, it, it could be characterised that way, uh, but you know, these were crimes. Police officers have a statutory duty to investigate crimes. Um, it, it's been pretty obvious that they haven't been doing that. These are individuals. Um, they should be held accountable. I think, um, from what I, I can gather of the, the system, which is labyrinth, labyrinthine, by the way, uh, it's really the, the bar is set too high to be able to right. prove individual misconduct. Now, uh, I, one observation I do have is that the panel deciding the, the tiny number of cases that came out of Rotherham uh, had a superintendent on it. Now, what is a superintendent doing on a panel deciding misconduct? It should be independent, shouldn't it? Mm. We did. We. It is fair to say, though, the, the Police and Crime Commissioner for South Yorkshire, Sean Wright, resigned... Uh, back in 2014, as it happened, didn't he? You might say that is a, a degree of accountability for someone who you might say was was there overseeing policing in, in South Yorkshire. I mean, he, would, well, he was able to resign. He wasn't forced to... Right. He, he wasn't dismissed. Uh, yeah, that's what... that's. I think that's what um, the type of accountability that l the ladies that I represent are trying to achieve here. Mm. Do you feel it's it's not possible for police to investigate police that it doesn't it, it, it doesn't work if you if you want true accountability exactly that's right yeah I'm, I, I personally as a lawyer having worked with police complaints since 1992 I've never had any confidence that that system works because it's police investigating the police despite the best efforts of the IOPC they're always involved in the process and it needs to be properly independent have you spoken today to any of the clients you have who you've represented in these awful events in Rotherham? Not today, but I've been speaking to them regularly over the last couple of weeks while this this hearing has been going on. Mm. Um, and they have been you know, extremely disappointed so far um, that we've got to this stage, the last case, um, and even even before today, there had been zero accountability. One officer even admitted gross misconduct in failing to deal with these cases and was not dismissed. David Greenwood uh, from Switalski uh, Solicitors, representing many of those uh, victims of abuse in Rotherham. Thanks so much uh, for talking to us.